guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the brand new Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. I have had so many requests to review this for you. I did put a poll up on my Instagram story and so many of you were like, yes, yes, yes. We absolutely wanna see a review on this one. So I did purchase it from the Sephora Australia website. And today we're gonna do swatches, a demo. I'm gonna show you the palette up nice and close so that you can see exactly what you think of it. And then I'm gonna let you know whether or not it is actually worth all the money and it is worth quite a lot of money. So if you're interested in seeing a fully in-depth review on the brand new Huda Beauty Naughty eyeshadow palette, then please keep on watching. As always, if you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and let's jump straight into the video. All right, guys, brand new Huda Beauty Naughty palette. Now, I'm just having a quick squeeze on the Huda Beauty website and they say that this is a reimagination of their best-selling new nudes palette. Now, I do have a couple of her other eyeshadow palettes here including the new nude and I did quite like this palette actually but they're saying it's kind of like a remix a rework a reimagination of this one here lots of beautiful berry tones very gorgeous palette um, very nice packaging I did do a review on this one and I did quite like it so we'll have a little look at the two side by side you can decide what you think uh, you know whether or not you think it's a reimagination but this is what the palette looks like when you do purchase it now it is not a cheap palette. This is 67 US dollars. Here in Australia, it retails for 124 Australian dollars. I did buy it off the Sephora Australia website for 124 dollars. It better be good for that price, let me tell you. Like if I've spent all that money and it's patchy, it's choppy, it just like fall out everywhere, it doesn't last all day, I am gonna be pissed. <laughs> the external packaging isn't that impressive. It just comes in this sort of plastic, clear, like burgundy unicarton. Um, there's nothing really on the back. It's basically just a clear plastic container. But then the actual packaging of the palette is quite beauty. So the Naughty Nude palette, very beautiful. It's got burgundy, it's got beautiful rose gold across the front that is what the front of the palette looks like there on the back you have information about the shades ingredients and things like that and one thing that does make this one very different to her other eyeshadow palettes is it is plastic packaging so I've got a few of her other palettes here obviously the new nude is traditional cardboard packaging but then also the desert dusk the same thing cardboard style packaging and also the rose gold remastered was cardboard packaging as well so this one you do get plastic packaging you open it up and honestly, like, I can't deny it, you guys. It is beautiful to look at. It just, it looks like a cup of hot chocolate. It just looks so pretty. And there's such different and very, very interesting textures in this one, including this shadow down here, slippery. It looks like a lip gloss nearly. It's beautiful. So you get a nice big mirror at the top of the palette, which is always great to see. So she'll be good for traveling. And then this is a bit of a close up look at the colors that you are getting in this one. Look at those marble textures, aren't they pretty? I think they look so pretty. So this is an 18 eyeshadow palette. Uh, it says it's got eight velvety soft, powerfully pigmented mattes, five high shine buttery metallics, three multi-reflective shimmer cream marbles, one matte cream marble, and one sheer pearly gloss hybrid, which must be that one down the bottom. Definitely a lot of different textures in this one. Um, and I mean, it's stunning. You really can't deny how pretty it looks. So that's the price. This was what the palette looks like. Let's get into some swatches and actually see what the formulation's like, what the texture's like. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how she comes up in swatches. All right, so running through these colors one by one, we have a matte pink. This one is like a shimmery pearlescent. It actually sort of changes colors in the light between like a pink and a purple. It is quite pretty. A shimmery pink sort of sparkle, a shimmery copper. This is a pink base matte brown. Then we have a warmer medium matte brown, a matte dark burgundy color. This one was quite patchy when swatching. As you did build it up, you know, you did get like the full color payoff. A cooler tone pink shimmer, this one here. Then you have a white gold shimmer, another matte brown, and then another matte deeper darker, kind of like an eggplant burgundy, and then a matte really warm orangey medium brown. This one here is the gloss. Really, there's no color payoff at all. Um, it really just looks like clear lip gloss on my skin, so I'm not really sure the purpose of that one. I did dig into the pan quite deep to try and get to those sort of little pearls of color, and it really didn't make a difference. So it really, it's just a clear gloss. Then we've got a shimmery gold, a darker medium matte brown. There's a really pretty duochrome pink shimmer with like gold through it. 
amazing amazing coppery pink I love that one and then a medium pinky matte brown overall it is honestly a stunning 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 looking palette like I said it's just it looks like Christmas to me I am very excited about quite a few of these shades sorry I'm halfway through priming my lids I want to really I'm really excited to get this on my eyes and see how it actually works but a couple of the colors in here are really interesting this one here and by the way they're all like sexy naughty kind of names in theme with the palette but this one here, Passion, it's like a purple and a pink, a sh they're like a shimmer and you could definitely like, because they are sort of split in the pan, you could definitely dip your brush into each color and get sort of two colors out of it. Similar to this one here, Provocative, but when they're blended together, it kind of turns it into like a duochrome sort of shifting kind of a color. It's a really, really interesting. You would have seen that one in these swatches. The mattes were really nice and buttery. They felt very finely milled. You know, that really soft, sort of smooth kind of texture. The shimmers were like butter, lots and lots of pigmentation. A couple of the deeper, darker colors of the mattes were quite choppy when swatching. But I say this all the time, eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow formulas, they're not formulated for swatching on your arms. Like they're meant for blending on the eyes. So we're going to find out exactly how they perform in just a minute. But I'm just priming my eyes so we are all prepped to go. And then we're going to start the actual demo of this palette. Okay, so first up to start the eye look today, I'm going to go into this one here. It is called Hypnotic and it is a medium light matte brown. And I'm going to start by using that one just through the crease of both eyes as a bit of a transition color and to build a base. Now the matte marble cream in this palette is this deeper color here, Hard. Yeah, it's a way, I mean, you know, on, on the Huda Beauty website, it does suggest that you can use that as an eyeshadow base, but for somebody, like certainly for somebody of my skin tone or lighter, it's a little bit too deep, unless you were going to go in and do like a really dark smoky eye, it would definitely work as a base for that. Alternatively, you could blend that across the eye as an everyday quick kind of an eyeshadow look. Um, it would create like a really nice smoky brown natural looking eye. As far as this hypnotic shade goes, it is blending beautifully. It is soft. It's not sticking and becoming patchy like over the top of that primer. I do feel like... It's, it's coming out really, really well. All right, switching to a slightly smaller brush, I'm going to go into this really warm, kind of nearly orangey-toned brown. This one is called Arouse. And I'm going to dip into that. Tap off the excess. This is another matte shadow. And I'm going to build that one up directly in my crease. Just see how we go blending. Yeah, they're blending beautifully so far. Definitely no complaints about the lighter browns and, you know, like the lighter colored mattes. They're gorgeous. All right, so we have built up that aroused color. Am I aroused by it? Kind of. A little. All right, taking a much smaller blending brush, I'm going to go into Naughty, this shade here. Kind of matches the front of the palette. And I'm going to start to pack that one right in the outer corner. Just sort of build that up. Oh, Wow, that's actually blending out really well too. I wasn't sure about the darker shades in the palette because they were a little patchy when swatching, but it's actually blending out quite well. Be interesting to see if that patchiness does come through when blending over the top like I am now. Because that does sometimes happen, but it's looking pretty good. So just using circular motions, really buffing that one over the top of the skin. Burning it upwards and outwards. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's a pretty, pretty, pretty color. I really like that. As far as kickback goes, there is a little from this one when I'm dipping into it with my brush into the pan. Nothing shocking, nothing alarming, nothing like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm wasting this shadow. It's going everywhere. It's really the same amount as I would usually expect. So nothing really to report on there. Just sort of spreading that shadow upwards and outwards. And I'm also dragging it a little out towards the corner of my brow there. I have got a pimple, so don't mind that there. That's it's not the eyeshadow. It's it's a zit, but um, you know, fanning your eyeshadow out in that shape and pulling it upwards helps to lift the eyes, open the eyes, and make you look less tired. All right, I want to get into the deeper shade in this palette now. This one here, it is called Spicy, because this is the one that was quite you know patchy when I was swatching. So I'm just curious to see how it performs on the eye, how it blends, whether or not you know it's the sort of same issue. Hopefully not. Just with dabbing motions, I am getting a full layer of product. There's no light areas and dark areas. Like, so far that's worked. But will she blend? Let's find out. 
So again, circular motions. Okay, she blends. So taking that deep dark color, dabbing motions again, just to lay that color down. And then we're gonna start buffing the edges there. Honestly, blending out so well. I think as far as usability goes and as far as blendability, probably thus far, this might be my favorite palette as far as the mattes go. Um, like I said, I haven't, I've got a bit of a sordid history with Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes not necessarily working that well, especially for the price because they're so expensive. Uh, for this kind of money, you know, I need it to unpack the dishwasher. I need it to wash the dogs. I need it to pay the bills. Really. All right, so the first shimmer that I'm going to dip into is this one here, Desire. Now, this is like a creamy, it nearly feels like a wet kind of textured eyeshadow. It's definitely like a cream to gel sort of a formula. I'm going to try that on my finger first and see how that one comes up. Oh, that does look really, really pretty on the eye. Lots of payoff. And like I said, it's that sort of creamy kind of texture. So I don't think you're particularly going to get too much like fallout with this shadow. But what we will do is also try it on the other eye with a brush and just see how it goes, how it performs. But with a fingertip, it is stunning. So going in with a flat brush now into that same shadow, we'll see if we can pick any of it up. Hmm. Not really too much. I do think this formula is going to be one where you are going to want to use your fingertip. Oh, we are getting a little bit of payoff, but certainly, you know, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as vibrant as it is when you are using your finger to press the shadow into the eyelid. Um, yeah, I'm going to recommend finger application for that one. I'm quite intrigued about this one that shifts between purple and pink. So I'm going to take that one. This one's called Passion. Whoa, see, look at it there. It's a really, really cool. I'm going to pop that on the lid right on the inner corner next to that copper. See, this one's like a totally different texture. It's more of like a satin. It's definitely not as highly metallic as that copper was. And I don't think that I'm really getting the same kind of payoff as the copper as well. That comes off sort of looking a little bit I don't know. It's it's a purple shadow. It's pretty, but it, it just looks like a purple shadow. All right, I've replaced some of that shimmer, and now I'm going to go into Shameless, I think. That's this sort of really, really pretty gold pink color here. It's a, definitely a duochrome. Like, as I'm moving my finger in the light, it's switching from pink to gold. It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to pop that one right on the inner corner. Ooh, okay, that one's got a lot of payoff with my fingertip. There's so much shine and sparkle there. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. That's absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness. So definitely with a finger, that one works. Let's try that one on a flat brush now and see how it goes. I have had issues in the past with the Huda Beauty shadows. Like you pretty much can never use them with a brush. So I can see how little it's picked up from the pan. And when you go to apply it, you get absolutely nothing. So again, this sort of like gel wet to, to powder sort of a formula, uh, you, definitely you're going to have to use your fingers. All right, the next color that I want to test out is this one here. It's called Flower Power. Really interesting. It's a marble swirl of a gold pink sort of reflex shimmer. Like it's quite a light shimmer, but then there's also like a swirl of matte brown in there as well. Like it looks really pretty. Uh, in the pan. I can't imagine it sort of translating on the eye like that, but picking up that one on a wet brush, I'm going to pack that right on the inner corner. And this one sort of looks like a duochrome as well. Definitely shifts and change colors. The one thing that I will say is these glitter sort of shadows, they are quite chunky. I have got textured lids, so it's something that you know, my lids are always going to show up a lot of texture of shimmery eyeshadows, but it's definitely something else that you know, maybe keep in mind if you are not so much into these really textured kind of shimmers. They are large glitter chunks. Like, obviously, the first copper that I applied wasn't. This one, Please Me, isn't as well. Um, and this one here, what's this one? Irresistible. This one's also like a really sort of a smooth kind of a shimmer. But all of the other shadows in this palette, they are... They're, they're textured glitters sort of shadows. Then through the lower lash line, I'm going to take Juicy... This medium matte, and I'm just going to sort of rub that through there. Oh, yeah, lots of pigmentation in that color. Really pretty. And then to finish the lower lash line, I'm going to take Untamed. 
this medium sort of burgundy eggplant kind of a color. I'm going to really smudge that into the outer corner of both eyes, making sure that's nice and blended. And then just and then just going over that gold again. But that's pretty much it. I feel like I've tried, you know, as kind of many of these shadows as I can get on my eye as possible. Uh, overall, a really, really good user experience. Really easy to work with. Really blendable. Really, really pigmented. Really creamy. Um, the one thing that I will say is there's no color in this palette to sort of highlight the brow bone. I certainly am not going to be using this one that I've got on my inner corner because the chunks of glitter in it are just way too much um it's just going to really age my eyes it's going to sort of bring the brow bone down and it's also going to highlight any texture that i may have there so for me i'm going to have to use like a highlighter or something on my brow bone but that's okay um other than that i'm really happy with sort of how these went so what i'll do is i'll quickly finish the rest of my makeup off camera and also you will notice for such dark shadows for such shimmery shadows you know, like it does look like there is glitter on my lids. I've surprisingly got next to no fallout. So that's really, really awesome to see. So I'm going to jump off camera, quickly finish my makeup, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. And actually, we'll do side-by-side uh, -side comparisons of this palette with some of the other Huda Beauty palettes as well when I get back. All right, guys, so I've got the rest of my makeup on. Still really happy with how this eyeshadow is looking. I have been fluffing around as well. There's no creasing, there's no fallout. It's so far lasting quite well. I am going to be wearing it all day, so I will, of course, update you if anything changes, if it fades, if it goes patchy, if it just goes gross during the day, I'll absolutely let you know. Now, quickly, before I give my final thoughts on the new Naughty Nude palette, I just want to quickly show you some of their other palettes, sort of up close, side by side, to this one so that you can see you know the differences in the shadows if you've already got one you can figure out whether or not this one's going to be actually worth you investing in so first up the new nudes palette this is what this one looks like lots of really luxe pink rose tones in this one as well and then this is the naughty nudes side by side so there's definitely a lot of repeats in terms of tones but the naughty nudes is definitely deeper richer smokier darker sexier kind of a vibe whereas this one's like sort of lighter and more powerful but still both are really pretty but definitely there are some overlaps in shades in between the two um, I would say this one is more pink whereas this one's got more of that rosy brown undertone to it and then we've got desert dusk this was sort of one of her more original palettes side by side with the naughty nudes that is what they look like these are two very different palettes uh, lots of very different textures I don't think like if you've necessarily got this one I don't think that purchasing this one you know you're gonna find too much of an overlap between shades I think you're pretty safe there and then lastly the rose gold remastered this was like a redo of her original rose gold palette I'm not I can't even quite remember why they did it um, I'm personally not a fan of any of the formulas in this one I find it quite difficult to use quite patchy not enough payoff but as a side-by-side -side comparison here is what the two look like definitely again the naughty nude is very different there's not too many repeats of shades I think if you've got this one you'll be safe to pick this one up but I will say overall I do really think that this is a beautiful palette it's very well thought out the color you know the color story the color choice the way everything's tied together the packaging's gorgeous the textures in this are beautiful when you open it up and see all those really beautiful marble shades it is a lovely lovely experience I feel like even though this is really beautiful to look at you know and the colors are beautiful and it's very very nice to use you know it's creamy it's buttery it blends well it's definitely an absolute pleasure to use I still can't justify the price tag because I have got palettes from other brands from Morphe from Makeup Revolution from Colourpop from BH Cosmetics where I can get the same finish the same colors the same blendability at a much much more affordable price so I do think you know if you've got free money to throw around and you know you're a huge fan of the brand you'll definitely enjoy the palette like as far as the palette alone goes it is really pretty lots of pretty colors very pretty packaging but for me personally I know that I can get these shadows from more affordable brands and I can get the same texture the same payoff the same blendability I don't necessarily think that you need to spend 67 US dollars and 124 Australian dollars 
to get this eyeshadow look. I feel like I could definitely get this eyeshadow look with a NYX palette or a ColourPop palette or a BH Cosmetics palette. And if you are interested, let me know in the comments section, would you like to see a dupe for this palette? I feel like I could find a dupe for it pretty easily as well. But at the same time, it is beautiful. It is a stunning palette. Like you can't deny how pretty it is and you can't deny, you know, how well it blended and how easy it was to apply. I just, for me personally, I wouldn't be running to spend $124 on an eyeshadow palette ever at all. It's just way too expensive. And, you know, with how many other options we have out there nowadays, it's just not necessary, really. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Those are all of my thoughts on the brand new Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope that it answered any questions. If you did have questions about this palette and you were on the fence about whether or not you wanted to pick it up, I'm not personally mad that I spent the money on it. I'm going to be using it a lot. I can definitely see me reaching for this for so many different kinds of looks daytime looks nighttime looks really glamorous looks and especially through the holiday season I think I'll really enjoy it but yeah there there are definitely dupes out there all right guys let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below did you like the look that I came up with what are your thoughts on the palette let me know everything down below and like I said I will update you in the comments if anything changes throughout the day you know if it starts to sort of fall off my face crease fade, anything like that, I will update you. And yes, I hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. I love you all heaps, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!